bag has the Quintus storage mark. He did say he left his stuff in a flooded area. Looks like it belongs to Quintus then. Is this yours? Wow, friend, you actually found it. But is this not yours? Huh? Uh, no, no, no. What I mean is, yes, this is what I dropped. But there's less of it than I remember. Hmm. What a pity. But it is yours, right? I think so. I have far too many treasures on my hands. Even I can't remember them all. <laughs> Uh, what I mean is, I lost more than just this when I was running, but this should do. It may have been but a pittance in Barad's eyes, but to me, it's the key to living to see another day. Is that so? All right, I believe you. Ah, my adorable noble friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come, come, friend. Please, accept this as a humble token of my appreciation. If you see anything you like, friend, just let me know. I'll give you a discount. Maybe you could find some treasure in the water. <laughs> save it. I didn't save you just so you could tell me tall tales. Friend, how could I forget your kindness? Of course, if you'd be willing to help me again. What? If you're going to Argus Bazaar, I happen to have a Quintus storage location there. Friend, you know I'm old and withered. I just can't travel there anymore. <laughs> Fine. How many more things did you lose there? Not too many, I swear. Just if you happen to pass by. I'll think about it. So, we have some goods in Argus Bazaar? Yes, they're my assets. You can open the warehouse with this key. Bring it back to me if you can. And consider this. The goods in this Quintus storage are real treasures. You deserve them. <laughs> so you admit what you sold me before is trash. It's because you're making progress so quickly. I can't keep up with your astonishing pace. <sighs> I'll consider it. If I pass by Quintus storage. A wise decision, friend. There are no enemies when it comes to money. Let's always be good friends. <laughs>
Disenchantite should be able to help me quench the magic fire ahead. of a campfire and markings nearby hmm this must have been left by the northwind legion that marking means 14 
they be any more useless? Ah, by God's grace. I've been searching in vain, and yet here we are. One of Harold's missing soldiers. Are you the one emitting the magical wave? I am. And I see from your garb that you're from the Northwind Legion. Hurry on to the fifth rally point. Harold's waiting there. Wait. No. I don't remember there being a young girl in the Northwind Legion. Who are you? I am Hilda of Anvari, a warrior of the Northwind Legion. On the King of Anvari's orders, I'm here to look for the missing Northwind Legion commander. You sent a child? It is most surprising. I'm not a child. And you haven't told me your name. Oh? I'm a partner of the Northwind Legion, and I am protecting them from succumbing to the curse. You may call me Eumenides. <gasps> Eumenides? So, you've heard of me. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I find Commander Harold. Please tell me where he is. I'll consider it after they complete my mission. Now, please leave. You're not the person I'm looking for. Wait, why would they ignore the King's orders and accept your request? Let me meet with the Commander. I must verify this with him personally. Oh? I admire your courage, child. But I thought I'd made myself very clear. You're working with Minerva. Your necklace has the aura of her magic. She gave it to you for protection, didn't she? That's why you could sense the signal I was sending out. And also why you're unaffected by the curse. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no use pretending in front of me. Tell Minerva to mind her own business. Otherwise, you'll never see Harold again. What are you up to? Did you threaten the Northwind Legion into working with you? You're more annoying than I expected. I do not like this feeling, to tell you the truth. Consider my suggestion, child. I will not be as polite the next time we meet. I said I'm not... Hey! Wait! Damn it! The Legion's definitely acting on his orders. What the hell's he up to? And how does he appear and disappear like that? Minerva. I should probably tell her about this.
Someone's hurt. Wait, it's Otto. Hilda, what are you doing here? Otto, oh, you're hurt. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not important, though. It's great to see you here. But more importantly, why are you here? Let me stop the bleeding first, then we can talk. We lost contact with you for so long. It's why I spent so much effort getting approval for my mission to come to Aphis and check on the status of Operation Ashwind. Yeah, the Legion should have returned ages ago, but the situation was more troublesome than we expected. Then I can help. Where are the others? We split up. I need to find a way back to the Commander now. Were you the only one to go off on a solo operation? 
Um, uh, um... Tell me, Otto. What happened? Nothing! I'm telling the truth! All right. Something doesn't add up. Hey, Hilda. What have you all been doing since you arrived in Aphis? To achieve the Operation Ashwind objective, we were forced to negotiate with an Ephesian. He kept requesting that we go to dangerous locations to collect strange magical items or to install magical devices. You're talking about Eumenides, right? By the winds. You know him too? I met him not too long ago. He was looking for you. Is he someone we can trust? <laughs> I trust him about as far as I can throw him. He doesn't care about what we think, let alone if we live or die. Hoping that someone like him will selflessly come to our rescue is like trying to grasp the wind. Wishful thinking. Are you at least on track to achieve the original objective? That's the problem. It all depends on Eumenides' progress. Or so he says, at least. So what's your plan now? I need to return to base and meet up with the others, but... That's great! I'll go with you. Where are you supposed to meet? You're coming too? With your help, we'll definitely make it to the rally point. We're supposed to retreat to the conduit inside Fallon Academy's armory. Why such a dangerous place? We all have these magic marks that allow us to resonate with the conduits and teleport between them. Teleport? Is that also because of Eumenides' magic? Yeah. Uh, we needed to go deep into Fallon Academy for this mission. That's why we decided on the conduit inside the armory as the rally. To think that teleportation magic exists... Aphis really is full of surprises. But I'm not sure if you can teleport with us. We'll just have to give it a try. I found this dagger. Is it yours? How'd you find that? I dropped it while fighting a terrifying giant crocodile. Oh, I killed it. And then it dropped this dagger when it turned to stardust. You really are something. We had a fierce fight against it not long ago, but it managed to escape. Well, it was already badly injured when I fought it. I really only had to deal the last blow. Either way, it's great that you managed to find this dagger. Otherwise, I'd be letting Hermit down. Do you still carry his ocarina with you? Always. I saw Hathor in Gunnarsson's graves. How did they die? Oh, by the city gate? They lost their lives during the previous mission. We were surrounded by an army led by one of the Aethus Archons. So, I could feel their courage as they handed me their belongings. So... You became there. Yes. Well, may the wind take their souls. May the wind take their souls. There's no time to waste. Let's move out. All right. But the Aethys Legions activated the magic ballistic, so we have to think of a way to deactivate them first. I know where the control switches are located. I spent a few days reconning the area. Let's divide up the batteries. I'll take... No, you're injured. Let me handle everything. What? But I'm not sure... Knock it off. I said I'd help. Tell me, where are the control switches? All right. The control switch for Ballista Area 1 is located in the building to the right of the entrance to the military campus. After that, you need to pass through the building to the left of the entrance to the military campus and continue across a bridge to get to the second floor of the armory. Let's meet up there. Are you sure you'll be all right? When have I ever given you reason to worry? I always did better than you in the Northwind Trials. <laughs> if results alone were enough to convince people of your skill, the Commander wouldn't treat you the way he does. Hey! <clears throat> Forget it. You clearly injured your head, too. Thanks. Hey. May the wind watch over you.
Okay, Hilda. There's no time to waste. Let's move out. Looks like there's no way to sneak in. I need to avoid attracting attention.
the ballistae have arranged themselves in the questions to ask him.
city. Chaos and disorder don't even begin to describe it. The city is filled with rapists, murderers, and robbers, as well as slaves who have seized the chance to rebel. If we arrest all the transgressors, we'll have more in the prison than out. Understood. Inform everyone, I am declaring a state of emergency and a call for citywide martial law. Archon, I have no objections, but I'm afraid it would be difficult to control the entire city with our current manpower. Then start with the Aerostoy area and the citizen areas. After that, order the Aerostoy to hand in their star rates. The Archon of Civilians has agreed that the stardust the people need must be controlled by the government. Only when we shoulder this responsibility can we save Aethys. Yes, my lord. Martial law will remain in effect until the curse is removed. Everyone should be prepared for the long struggle that lies ahead. We must remain resilient in the face of chaos. This is the moment when Aethys needs us the most. Understood, my lord. It's an honor to fight alongside you once more.
Otto, what is he looking at? Hey! Hilda! I can't wait any longer. Don't go looking for a meal. Owen. It's a message from Owen. What's going on? Did something happen to Emil? Emil? Could he have been captured? Captured? What have you all been doing? You've got to tell me, Otto. I... I can't disclose the details of the mission. My mission is to determine the progress of your mission. I have a right to know the details. All right, fine. I, I got it. Don't push so hard. Did something go wrong during the mission? We were originally carrying out Eumenides' request deep within Styx. The mission was progressing smoothly at first. Drake was our team leader. But we didn't have enough intel. We encountered a prison guardian just as we were leaving. It was powerful and bizarre. It hindered our exfiltration. How many were in your team? Seven of us in total. Owen, Emil, and I managed to escape to Fallon Academy. But I don't know what happened to the rest. The commotion in the prison immediately alerted the Ephesian soldiers in the academy. In the chaos, I was separated from Owen and Emil. Then the Ephesian soldiers activated the magic ballistae. You know the rest. At least now we can confirm that Owen managed to get out. the magic mark with that conduit there to meet up with the commander. Otto, wait. Although my mission's important, our brothers could still be in danger. We can't just ignore them. That would be disobeying orders. Drake's order was to retreat. The commander didn't give us permission to do this. Be flexible. We can meet up with the rest after finding the others. That doesn't mean we're disobeying the order, does it? Let's start with the areas where patrols are at their weakest. We should find some way to proceed. I, um... Yeah, you're right. There he is. That's my partner. Thank you, Hilda. Without you, I could never be this determined. Marshall Tower is where I was separated from Emil. Let's go there first. Right, just like we used to. I'll clear the path, and you find opportunities to follow behind. Hey, Hilda. Find anything special in Fallon Academy? Maybe. I found this while I was searching for our comrades. It doesn't look like army property. <gasps> this emblem! How could it be? And there's an animal's bite mark on it. Mind if I keep this? It's weird, right? And yeah, you can have it. It's not as if I have any use for it. There's no time to waste. Let's... North building of the armory. Must be where the Aphis Legion's weapons are supplied from.
ballista area too. I don't know why they'd want to blow up their own buildings. There are burn marks. Our brothers must have fought a fierce battle here. <gasps> this spear was made in Anbari. It's heavily damaged. Looking closer, I can tell that it's the head of a meal spear. But the blood... Ephesians don't bleed anymore. By the winds, Emil and Owen must have fought hard here. I'm getting more worried. Hilda. 
There's no time to waste. Let's move out. <laughs>